Technical considerations. Technical factors. The typical mass range for portable x-ray machines is 0.04 to 320 mass. The KVP range is 40 to 130 KVP. At 15 to 25 kilowatts, the total power of a mobile unit is lower than a fixed unit's 150 kilowatts. Grids. To avoid grid cutoff, short dimension grids are often used during portable exams. The direction and angulation of the lead strips in this configuration will not interfere with varying tube angles that are often used in mobile radiography. The part of interest must be centered on the grid and the focal range must be adhered to. Anode heel effect. The anode heel effect has the greatest impact when used with short SIDs and large field sizes, both of which are common in mobile radiography. However, this phenomenon cannot always be used to the radiographer's advantage due to patient room limitations. An SID of 40 inches is ideal for portable exams. The maximum MA output of the mobile tube is less than that of fixed X-ray units and therefore requires a longer exposure time to achieve comparable mass. This increase in exposure time increases the probability of capturing patient movement and undesirable quality in diagnostic imaging. Performing Mobile Examinations Initial Procedures Before Leaving the Department before visiting a patient's room, the technologist should check for supplies that will be required to complete an exam. Receptor, bags, markers, lead shields and aprons, grids, sponges to assist with positioning, and cleaning materials should all be transported on the mobile unit. Isolation considerations. Signs posted on or near each patient room door specify which personal protective equipment is necessary to wear before entering. Following standards for isolation precautions is crucial during mobile examinations. Patients under protective precautions are immunocompromised. The purpose of wearing PPE is to protect them from our germs. Patients under contact precautions have infections that may be spread to the technologist if she is not wearing proper protective attire. Initial procedures before entering the patient's room. As a courtesy to the patient, the technologist should enter her room alone before bringing in the machine. At this time, the technologist should verify the patient's identity and establish pregnancy status. She can assess the patient's initial condition and room configuration as well as introduce herself and explain the procedure if the patient is alert and conscious. If present, the patient's family members should be asked to temporarily leave the room in order to protect them from radiation exposure. Examination. Always remove any objects that could obstruct the path of the portable machine and tube. The portable machine should be placed parallel or perpendicular to the bed. It may help to turn off or dim the lights in the patient's room while adjusting the collimation. The collimated borders of the image field must not exceed the borders of the IR. Patient Considerations Assessment of the patient's condition Prior to beginning an exam, always assess the patient's condition taking care to analyze alertness, breathing, mobility, flexibility, and her ability to cooperate. If the patient has had surgery, the radiographer must ask a nurse or doctor before moving the part of interest. Look for and note any changes in her condition during and after the exam. Fractures. If the patient has a potentially fractured bone, the technologist must proceed with caution to prevent further injury. Positioning and asepsis. The image receptor can feel very cold and uncomfortable to a patient. If completing an exam that requires placement of the IR directly under a patient, 
always warn her that a cold, hard board will be placed behind or under her before actually doing so. Older patient's skin may be thin and dry and may be torn by the IR, so a cover is used both to protect the patient's skin and to keep the IR clean. Interfering Devices Patients are often connected to devices that can interfere with obtaining a diagnostic quality image if they are not removed from the field of view, especially in ICUs. Examples of common artifacts a technologist will encounter include entire medical devices, EKG wires and leads, and tubing to assist with ventilation or oxygen delivery. Special precautions should be taken when moving and positioning injuries with external fixation or traction devices. Radiation safety. A high risk of occupational exposure is associated with mobile radiography. Time, distance, and shielding should all be taken into account to minimize radiation exposure. The technologist in most cases cannot control the exposure time, but she can and should shield herself and her patient with lead during the exam. The technologist should also stand as far away from the beam source as possible, but at a minimum of six feet from it.